Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jack's Off to another adventure. Now by now you guys should know I'm a huge Chatown enthusiast, but for this video, we are not doing a video on Chatown. As a matter of fact, we're gonna do it on a black community here called Allensworth. So, this used to be a huge black community, but what the hell happened? Why is it now a ghost town slash state park? Well, if you're curious, then join me as Jack's Off to Allensworth. Let's go! Alright, so this town was founded by a guy by the name of Alan Allensworth who started off as a black slave in the south but he escaped to the north and eventually joined the military and reached the rank of colonel. As a matter of fact, he was the highest ranking black officer in America during the time and once he retired, he wanted to set up a town here for the black community. So this is how it looked like back then. If you can imagine this being a lot of life here, you know, a lot of people just hanging out here chit-chatting and then you also have a lot of businesses here, here so as you can see over here we have the smith house and it tells you about the layout of it and the park ranger explained that these houses are not open but you can still peek inside so let's take a look at the inside you can see a piano right there but that's about it when you can't go inside but yeah, this town used to have several hundred people here. But what happened was, well, Colonel Allen, he you know tragically died from a car accident in LA. And then this area, they had some dispute with the irrigation system. So this town wasn't getting the water they needed. And eventually it pretty much just died out. But luckily the state pretty much preserved this area. So it's a state park now. So that's why we get to see these buildings still intact or else they would have been looted. And check this out, we have a barber shop right here. The universal barber uh, design and you can see that wow that's a high ass chair wow wow a tall chair makes you feel like a king while you're getting your head your hair cut wow this one's a hotel right here nice and then just look at all of these buildings right here it used to be full of life but right now it's all empty Well, let's head over that way and see what's going on over there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is hot and dry here. And I'm actually really surprised that they have a really green tree here. <laughs> wow. And then what is this? We have a store here. So yeah, it was like a community here. You know, they got a little bit of services, everything. The barbershop, the store, a hotel, houses. And I'm sure there used to be a lot of more buildings that were torn down, right? But let's check out the store. You see the counter there? It's more like a little house. Wow. Yeah, too bad we can't go in right now, but you know, it's better than nothing. Wow. So yeah, we have all these like buildings you can kind of see from the outside, really well preserved. Oh, we can we can sneak in the inside over here. Wait, take a sneak peek here. Uh. Yeah, it's really hard to see with the glares and stuff. Sorry guys, but and then this one's like straight up like <laughs> blocking it. They don't want y'all seeing what's going on in there. Oh, we have a let's, let's read about this here. What are these buildings here? I'm guessing it's a house. Let's see how accurate it is. The Hackett House, there we go. So yeah, if you guys come here, you guys can spend a lot more time just reading about each individual building. They do have these signs and then, wow, they got QR codes, so they're catching up. America's catching up, woo! But yeah, look at all this. There's a lot of space. And then I'm pretty sure that's a church. We'll check that out in a little bit. And then we got coach over here walking like he owns this place which we did because we got to pay to come in here so <laughs> and there's no one around here so we're like the only ones here ah uh, you can see like the bed in here you know you got the the chairs 
delivery, delivery, Amazon. Here's Co checking himself out. Like hot, man. Yeah, it is, dude. <laughs> but yeah, let's keep going and see if we can find Colonel's house. We're kind of curious of how Colonel's old house looked like. I mean, he's the Colonel, right? So he better be get the best housing, but let's see what it is. Man. Yeah, here we have the first Baptist church right here. I don't think you can peek inside. I'm not tall enough to peek inside, but it's... Let's see. Now, even though I won't be able to peek inside, I have a selfie stick, so... Good luck, guys. Hope you guys see something. And also, Allensworth is right by the railroad, so as you can see, a lot of trains going through these areas. So if you're a train enthusiast, definitely come here and check out the trains. <laughs> and this small green little building right here, it might be small, but it's a very powerful building. Why? It's a library. That's right. Check out this little adorable library here. Wow, they have benches outside, so you know, kids can or not even kids you don't have to be a kid to go to a library if you want to get education you can read outdoors you know get the vitamin d while you are reading good for your knowledge good for your skin just you know if you're gonna be out in the sun just wear sunscreen <laughs> oh too bad you can't peek in there but that's cool though so we got a library here all right so we think that's colonel's house we're not really sure, but we're gonna go check it out. Let's see if we're right. All right, here's the moment of truth. Oh, this is a schoolhouse. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's cool. It's cool having a nice school here. So yeah, they got some education here too, which is good. Education is the key to success. So guys, invest in education, you guys. All right, so we failed on finding Colonel's house, but if you look over there, there's still some more buildings. So let's go check it out to see if that's Colonel's home. Let's go. Come on, Colonel's house. Aww. But it's Sergeant James Phillip. So yeah, let's go take a quick look at Sergeant's house. A fun joke in the military. The enlisted people, they're usually married to wives that are not as hot as officers. <laughs> see wow i really wish we can go inside because it's pretty well preserved on the inside too you got the bed right here oh colonel where do you live is that where you live colonel if not <laughs> is it this one we're kind of out of houses here gotta find colonel's house colonel i know you can afford a fence because you're a colonel so could this be it Man, the suspense is killing me. Why did I even try to find Colonel's house? I gotta walk in this heated weather. Damn it. It's cool. We got a little Allensworth bench right here. So you can kind of just chill here in case you're wondering about the view. You get to look at someone else's house is right in front of your house. So, so it's like, what's up neighbor? How you doing today? You know? Yeah. Here we have it. We found it. Woo. This is Colonel's house right here. The only one that can afford a fence. All right, Colonel, let's see. Let's check out Colonel's house right here. The officer's club. Wow, so down there, that's the bedroom. Here's the living room. And he got a piano, so Colonel was a piano enthusiast. And here is a little office. Yeah, you can see like a desk here. So I'm glad we found Colonel's house because that would have been pretty bad if I was like, let's go find Colonel's house and we couldn't find it. But yeah, in case you were wondering, Colonel Allensworth's house, right here. Oh yeah. All right, there's still a few little buildings we can go check out and then we'll get the hell out of here. So let's go.
another store here. That's why they have the window so you can see what's inside so you can buy. Nice. Nice little shop here. Yeah, it's like a miscellaneous store. You got buckets, you got all sorts of stuff, books. Yeah. So yeah, guys, this is Allensworth, a community that used to have a school, it used to have a library, had stores, had barbershops, had a lot of life here. But it's very sad to see that because of an irrigation problem, it became like this, desolated. But like I said, thanks to the state park for preserving this or else this place would have been destroyed or looted. And also, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And you know, it's a very different pace to check out something that's not Chinatown. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Well, until my next adventures, Jack's off and Jack's out.